Hi, this is Piero San Giorgio. I'm the author of Survive the Economic Collapse. I am today in a beautiful Aegean coast of Greece. Uh, I was here to visit a, a client of mine. And uh, for those of you who don't know what I'm doing in terms of uh, consulting, well, I thought to make a short video to explain a little bit what I'm doing. So as you know, I've, uh, I'm preparing myself and my family to, uh, let's say, survive, but actually to thrive through the very difficult times that I believe are ahead. And that is why, what I explain in my books, especially the one that is now translated in English under the name Survive the Economic Collapse, which was a bestseller in, in Europe. And um, uh, actually, it all started that when I realized that the world we live in is not sustainable and will collapse. And uh, as the economy collapses, it will impact all of us in extremely severe ways. And I thought that it was interesting to uh, uh, help people around. And of course, since I stopped and I left my job as executive in the software industry, I thought that perhaps this was also a way for me to, to make a living, or at least to, to, to make the little living that I make now to, uh, to be able to pay some of the cost with my uh, transformation into a very different lifestyle. And uh, I was uh, quite fortunate to know through my career some, uh, uh, let's say, fairly wealthy people around the world, uh, in North America, in Europe, in the Middle East, who actually thought that my ideas were not that crazy, or at least that wanted to have an opinion on how to hedge their lifestyle or some of their investments against the scenario that I'm describing in my book. And, um, and so basically what I'm usually doing is, uh, is meeting people and trying to first understand what is uh, their objective, what is their lifestyle that they'd like to keep. So obviously, this is the first cold shower for most of my clients because I explain to them that the kind of lifestyle with the luxuries that they're used to have today is probably not going to be uh, sustainable and not going to be something that they can keep. However, they can keep some of the financial wealth and in some, in some cases financial might, which can then transform itself into physical might in many, many ways. And, and, uh, and so usually we then start to go through what kind of, uh, uh, not just budget, but what kind of um, approach they'd like to have. Because clearly, uh, if you're worth a billion dollars or if you're worth a hundred million dollars or you're worth ten million dollars, or you're worth one million, it's not the same. And probably you cannot achieve the same objectives. And I tell you very frankly, actually, it's much easier if you're not too wealthy. Because often I have customers who are above the billion dollar um, uh, net worth, if you'd like to call it like that. And it's very hard to invest that much money. And of course, the good thing for them is that with only a small, an incredibly small fraction of their wealth, they can really prepare, but it also means that they will never be able to convert most of their wealth to what will be successful because it's too much of a risk. So basically, I, I approached with them with ideas of, of hedging uh, that wealth against uh, economic collapse. And clearly, uh, what usually happens is I kind of visit and go through and I um, basically audit their lifestyle and I audit the places where they live or the places they would plan to live. I often help them try to find uh, spots that are perfect for that. So obviously not all spots are as beautiful as, as the, the spot I am right now, but certainly uh, there are um, uh, better spots than others. And for that, of course, we use uh, official data. Uh, some is geographic to understand hydrography. So, so that means the water. Is there water tables? Is there uh, uh, enough rain during the winter? Can you collect? And of course, then we look into the food. So we go through. I go through the seven, the process of the seven phases of uh, of a sustainable autonomous base, which is why I explain in my books. And I go into quite a lot of depth uh, with my clients. And clearly, for example, I look at the kind of land there is, at the kind of resources that are nearby, the kind of people that are nearby. Uh, what are the energy sources? What could they produce on their own? What could they rely upon based on their neighborhood or their local uh, power plants, etc.? What is the, the kind of uh, facilities that exist where they, need, where they are? Uh, what is, of course, the kind of defense and security systems that they have or that they could set, uh, set up? What is also 
in the end, the kind of uh, network and social bonds that they have created with their neighbors. This is often the most difficult part, and I really hope that I can bring a big difference by giving advice on, on, on how to do that, because a lot of these people were usually very good and are very good in business, and they can turn some of the great people skills and business skills that they have into um, relationship skills that build not just something for profit, but they can build relationships for mutual help. And uh, I think that with my experience, I'm very good at that, in fact, where I'm, I'm a deal maker and I'm a connection maker. And uh, that was very good for me in my previous career. And I hope I can teach some of the skills that I have. Uh, probably being Italian and Mediterranean originally, that really helps me and that gives me an edge uh, beyond my very uh, Swiss side, which is very organized. And, uh, and so that hopefully I can combine these two qualities for, for, for some of my clients that, uh, that are willing to make that step to open up to their neighbors, regardless of, of status, regardless of wealth. And, and I think that is, uh, that is something I can help. Also, uh, what's interesting about, uh, about um, all of these elements is really the mindset change that you cannot simply buy uh, security and you cannot simply buy, you have to do. So clearly, I really encourage a lot of my clients to try new, to learn new skills and, uh, and make a plan with them. So what we usually end up doing after usually one day or two days of, of consulting is to make a strategic plan with what they try to achieve and how they're going to achieve them. And then, of course, link that plan with actions, actions on what they need to change, what they need to do. Uh, often it's about energy, it's about water, it's about uh, uh, food production. Uh, also, what kind of investment they need to do in themselves, such as what kind of trainings they need to do, what kind of um, network they need to set up. But clearly, it involves also all the family. I have had clients where I, I help the children to start uh, uh, gardening uh, where, uh, or going to self-defense classes. All of these things, of course, come subsequently, and, and I don't need to do that. I mean, uh, there's experts for everything, of course, in this world. But maybe I can help, and certainly I can help to, to compile and find the synthesis of what they need to do to build their strategy. And um, it's from the feedback I have, it's very successful for them. And for sure, they, they, they suddenly have a different mindset. And for example, in terms of financial planning and analysis, I'm not a financial ma a wealth manager. So I'm not going to tell my clients, here, you should invest into this solar panel plant or into this uh, investment on the stock market. I'm basically trying to just say, well, be very thoughtful about how you look at uh, your, uh, your future. And maybe investing in the stock market is not the only thing. Obviously, most of my clients have already thought about some of the ideas I explained in my book, and they have thought that the probability of an economic collapse is not zero. It's actually uh, quite uh, possible. And um, some of them are curious, of course, at the beginning, and some of them are convinced that there is a need for a massive uh, change in their uh, setup, including the financial one. So clearly, we also explore some of the ideas around some investments. And sometimes what's interesting is that some clients who don't dare to speak about their fear of economic collapse, well, perhaps talking to me, they can connect with other of my clients, should if they accept, of course, because I give full um, anonymity. And uh, uh, of course, I keep the secrecy of all my clients, obviously, unless they ask me to be connected together. In which case, it's very interesting because suddenly you have uh, some, some wealthy, for example, Russian, Turkish, uh, North American, English, uh, Swiss, or Israeli even sometimes people who suddenly start to connect because they see that uh, maybe they have investments into some um, ventures uh, or businesses sometimes that uh, could help each other or that could require uh, some people's advice or expertise. So anyway, there's a small network that I hope can grow over time. So anyway, I just wanted to give you some advice on uh, some ideas on, on what I can do perhaps uh, if you, for you if, you if you check this video. Uh, always uh, for fun for a lot of people is that uh, uh, I ask my customers to pay my wages in gold. And uh, this is for two reasons. One is because I want to eat my own dog, dog food because if I believe, as I do believe, in an economic collapse, I believe that the currency of, of the future will have to be silver and gold, of course, as well as uh, trades and skills, but uh, certainly... Uh, silver and gold, and, and obviously, uh, since gold goes up and down, 
by being paid in gold, it means that if, uh, if uh, uh, as I expect, gold will go up, well, my wages will go up. And if it goes down, uh, well, I will make less, less money. And, uh, and that's why I charge uh, one ounce of gold per day. But um, that's just to show that I am committed to my own uh, scenarios. So anyway, um, I leave you. I have some, uh, some more work to do. And this is a good setting for work. So that's, uh, that's already a, a good thing. So I, uh, I wish you good luck. And uh, I hope you, you are enjoying my book and my videos. And uh, uh, stay connected. And uh, I'll see you another time. Take care.